Hi, I'm JC and I'm here to help you practice your English. Today we're going to do a quiz on prepositions. So the prepositions we're going to use in this activity are into, in, out, during, since, to, for, with, of, on, and at. So what I'll do is I'll present the sentences to you, I'll show them to you, and you'll have a few seconds to see if you can complete the sentence with an appropriate preposition, and then I'll give you the correct answer, and maybe I'll give you a little bit of explanations too if it's necessary. All right, so let's begin. Number one. Answer. Don put her saxophone into the trunk of her car. Repeat. Did you put into and not in? And the reason is into, it's going from one space to another. Example, if I have, for example, I have a pen. I say the pen is in my pocket. But if I say I'm going to put my pen into my pocket, outside to inside. So I'm putting my pen into my pocket. Now, number two. Answer. Shirley didn't drive her new van to Alberta due to high gas prices. Repeat. Number three. Answer. The children played all day in the yard with their dog. Repeat. Number four. Answer. The autumn leaves fell to the ground during the windstorm. Repeat. Number five. Answer. My brother Jim has always been interested in old movies. Repeat. So the expression here is interested in something. You are interested in something. It's the preposition in after interested. Interested in something. He's interested in cars. She's interested in cooking. Whatever. Number six. Answer. Olivia Newton-John was in her early 70s when she died. Repeat. So here we have the expression to be and then in with an age. Okay, so for example, I could say, I'm not in my 20s. Okay, that was a long time ago in my 20s. And you notice that I use the possessive adjective, my. Uh, in our sentence, we had her because we're talking about a woman, Olivia Newton-John. Now, who is Olivia Newton-John? Well, she was a very famous singer and actress, and she was in a movie with John Travolta 
uh, the movie was called uh, Grease, and it was a big success. I think it was sometime in the 70s, okay? Number seven. Answer, the Roveros had a new house built in Florida to spend the winter. Repeat. So notice we said in Florida because the house is located in Florida. We don't say to. If you want to use to, well, then you'd have a verb like, I'm going to Florida, uh, from point A to point B. So it's in Florida, and then we need the to for spend, which is the infinitive to spend, to spend the winter. Number eight. Answer, we'll meet you at the restaurant entrance at 7 p.m. Repeat. Now, maybe some of you put in. It would be possible in certain situations. Say, for example, if I say, oh, I'll meet you in the restaurant. Okay, that means you're not going to be in the vestibule or outside uh, waiting for someone else. You'll be in the restaurant. But normally we use at. I'll meet you at the bank. I'll meet you at the concert. Like that. All right? Number nine. Answer. I've just heard on the news that the former provincial government was re-elected. Repeat. So we use the preposition on. If we were talking about the radio or the internet, television, we would say the same thing. I saw it on television. I heard it on the radio. I read it on the internet. So we use the preposition on when we're talking about media of this type. Number 10. Answer. What highway should I take to go to New York City? Repeat. So we have to go, not for go, to go, and of course to New York City because we have the verb to go. You go somewhere, you go to a place. You go to Paris, you go to London, you go to New York, etc., etc. All right. Number 11. Answer, my cousins have been living in Nova Scotia since they were born. Repeat. So again, we have the preposition in when we're talking about a place because they are in that place in Nova Scotia. And then we use since because we're referring back to a time where someone started to be somewhere. Example, I could say, uh, I have been living in Quebec since I was a young man. Okay, I'm not being specific as far as how many years. Uh, if I talk about how many years, well, then I wouldn't use since. I'd use another preposition. Do you know what it is? The preposition for. Okay, so say, for example, um, you could say to someone, 
I have been studying English for 10 years. So you're talking about the duration. Number 12. Answer. During the pandemic, many people left the city and moved to the country. Repeat. So here again, we have the preposition to because we have the verb to move, which is similar if you're talking about like, say, to go, to move. Um, you're moving, you're going from point A to point B. So we have to use the preposition to. Moved to the country in this situation. Number 13. Answer. Fred was surprised when he found his car keys in his briefcase. Repeat. Now, maybe, maybe some of you put on, it would be possible, but then there would be not much of a surprise. The surprise would be when he opens his briefcase, he would see his keys inside the briefcase. So, in, I think, is the better choice in this situation. Number 14. Answer. During the long weekend, the McKays stayed at a quaint inn located in the eastern townships. Repeat. So you notice we say stayed at, which is more common. You could say we stayed in a quaint inn, but since in is already in the sentence in a different situation, in meaning like a little hotel, uh, it would sound strange. But normally stayed at. Example, if I say, when I went to Nova Scotia, I stayed at my sister's place. So again, stayed at. And the second preposition located in the eastern townships. That's the way it works all the time. You're lo it's located in a specific place. Number 15. Answer. The police officer was shocked to discover a small child sitting at the wheel of a parked car. Repeat. So again, uh, after shocked, we have to discover the infinitive. No problem there. But the child sitting at the wheel, because you sit at the wheel of a car when you're driving, okay? At the wheel. And the wheel, meaning the steering wheel of the car, it belonged to the car. So of a parked car. It belonged to the car. Number 16. Answer. The Hendersons got married on June 24, 2005 in Charlevoix, Quebec. Repeat. So here we use the preposition on with the date because it's a specific date. 
If it did not say June 24th, if it just said June, then you'd say they got married in June. But because it's a specific date on June 24th, 2005. And then the Charlevoix, uh, we, uh, Charlevoix region we're talking about. So in Charlevoix, Quebec. Number 17. Answer. When the thief rushed to the exit, the security guard stopped him in his tracks. Repeat. So again, after rushed, we have the preposition to because there's movement from point A to point B going towards the exit, so rushed to the exit, and the security guard stopped him in his tracks. That means while he was running. Now you think tracks, tracks you think of railway tracks, but people make tracks too <laughs> when they're running or walking. So it's an expression, in his tracks. If it had been a female, it would be in her tracks. If it was in the plural, in their tracks. All right. Number 18. Answer. The children always look forward to going trick-or-treating on Halloween. Repeat. So, uh, look forward to, that's an expression. There's always a to after for so look forward to. It has nothing to do with the verb to go or going. The expression is look forward to. Say, for example, you say, oh, I look forward to the end of the year. I look forward to my vacation. But here it is, look forward to, and then a verb, going. Now, trick-or-treating, what's that? Trick-or-treating is a custom that children uh, do here in North America, and I think in other countries across the world, uh, at Halloween. Halloween is the 31st of October, and this is when children run from house to house to collect candy, little treats, and uh, we call it trick-or-treating. A trick is like uh, when you do something to trick someone, huh? and the treat is like the candy. Uh, so that's where that comes from. And we'd say on Halloween, uh, maybe someone might be tempted to say at Halloween, but uh, normally we say on Halloween. On Halloween, the children go trick-or-treating. Number 19. Answer. How long have Kelly and Tony been going out together? Repeat. Now we have going out. Uh, this is an expression to be, to be going out with someone. Uh, that means you're dating someone. You're seeing them and probably you're in a romantic relationship, but it could be at the beginning before you get too romantic. So to go out with someone. So been going out together. Number 20. Answer, I have been waiting for you since noon. Where have you been? Repeat. So again, we have waiting. You wait for someone. You wait for someone, so waiting for you. And then we have the preposition since, because we're referring back to a a uh, specific time, noon meaning 12 noon. So that's the end of our quiz on prepositions. Together there were 35 different blanks where you had to fill in an appropriate preposition. How did you do? Did you get 35 out of 35?
maybe pretty close anyways. You can always go back and check over to see where your problems were and maybe listen to some of my explanations again. So that's all for today. I hope that you got something out of this activity. If you did, give me a like. And if you have not already subscribed, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. All right. So take care and I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.